Hello everybody, this is Michelle Stelling from the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers and this is Q&A Tuesday. And this question comes from Julie from Austin, Texas and she writes, how do you do the panoramic views and make them into posters? So I'm thinking what she's asking is whenever she takes pictures of something that's really widespread and her camera does not get the wide angle, I'm um, pretty sure this is what Julie's talking about. How do you put them and slice them together? So that's what I'm going to be showing you in the next couple minutes on this Q&A Tuesday. Um, what you do is basically what I've been told is you take a picture, let's just start on the left hand side, then you kind of move a couple inches after you take the first picture, then you move a little bit over and then you take the next picture and then a little bit more over and you kind of rotate yourself. You don't really want to stand still and then rotate because then that's going to give you kind of a weird uh, deal. Um, but what you want to do is you want to like maybe move over a couple inches and then take another picture and then another and another. Now I'm going to show you two different ways because there's another thing that too when you scan in images you um, can also interlace them together. So I'm going to show you both ways. So here's this uh, layout here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you, what you want to do first is you gather the four or five or six photos that you want to interlace together. And they have to make, you have to make sure that they are going to be interlaceable because otherwise they're not going to, it's not going to work in, inside Photoshop Elements. So these four pictures right here, they are all interlaceable. But what you do, you don't go in this way, you go in through, and I always forget, but it's through the Enhance, and then you go down to Photo Merge, and then you go down to Photo Merge Panorama. Okay, it's the middle option there. Then it's going to bring up this um, little pop-up box. It's going to look like this. And then what it's going to say is it's going to say, which of your photos do you want to interlace together? So I'm going to click on Browse. And then I'm going to hold the Shift key down and select those four photos. And then it's going to uh, show it right here, all four of those. I'm just going to go ahead and click on Blend Images Together and then click on OK. Now sometimes this takes a little bit of time. Um, it just depends on how accurate you were when you were taking the photos and if they overlap or not because you want them to overlap a little bit so that Photoshop has that option to line those pixels up and give it that panoramic view. So make sure that you do that. And then you sit and wait for a few seconds and hopefully it's not too big of a file that it's going to bomb on you, but um, sometimes it does and most of the time it doesn't. Right here it's going to say, do you want to automatically fill in the edges? I'm just going to click on no because it does take some time to do that. Now this is the cool part. Watch all these different pieces right here. Okay, these are the different pieces that it put together. Now I can go over here and I can take my crop tool and go ahead and crop out to maybe about here so that it crops out the top and the bottom and there I've got my panoramic view. Now of course you want to merge those together so I'm going to right click on them and merge those together. You might want to go ahead and enhance it just a little bit. I always go into the levels and kind of boost it up a little bit and make the darks darker so that you can kind of see more detail. And there you have your panoramic view of the Garden of the Gods. Now like I was saying if you had something like this, my, my son did a 12 by 18 and it wasn't small enough to fit on my scanner and I wanted to scan this in. So here's four different quadrants of this piece. So now what I can do is go into Enhance, Photo Merge, go to Photo Panorama, and it doesn't have to be a straight line it can be different quadrants. So I'm going to select these four, go ahead and click on OK, and then they should be interlaced. Now this is really cool because on this one I created little cards out of this masterpiece of my then it was seven-year-old son. And I just shrunk it down to four by six and I have all the different steps by steps inside the membership area if you wanted to take a look at that. Those of you who are members, you can go ahead and take a look at the membership area. It's card creation. Shows you step by step how to do that. And it goes into much more detail on how you can create your own cards digital scrapbook way. So again, this takes a little bit of time. I'm just going to go ahead and click on no. See over here to the right, you're going to see all the different pieces that it took to interlace those together. And now it looks spectacular. So thanks for joining me and I hope you know how to do panoramic views now. And again, check us out on naods.com. Click like 
and share and make some comments down below if you're viewing this on Facebook, if you're viewing this on YouTube. Uh, make sure you bounce on over to our site and check out the next members only class. And we are going to um, also, we're on YouTube, so if you are watching this from our site, go ahead and register and subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for joining me and have a great day. Bye-bye.